Hi, this is Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents. I believe I'm supposed to be talking about whether you decide to jump out of the fire or not when it gets too hot. Mm -hmm. Well, now I'm going to deal with the firing process. That's the part we hate. I listen to this, you guys. Lord, anoint this. Okay, I ask you to listen with your heart. Firing clay transforms it from its humble, soft beginnings into a new substance, ceramic. Ceramics are tough, strong, and similar in some ways to stone. Pieces of pottery have survived for thousands of years, all due to clay that met fire. The temperature needed to transform, transform soft clay into hard ceramic is extremely high and is usually provided by a kiln. You can't fire pottery in a home in a home oven because it cannot deliver the necessary temperature. Now listen to this. Firing is the process of bringing clay and glazes up to heat. Excuse me. Up to a high temperature. The final aim is to heat the object to the point that the clay and glazes are mature. I'm going to stop right there. Mm, mm, mm. Okay, listen, sometimes when we are going through the fire, it seems like, why is God punishing me? What did I do wrong now? Did you ask God to shape me and mold me and use me? Hello. Hello. The fiery furnace, baby, is an integral part of the process to get you there. Boy, yeah, I hate it too. <laughs> Ain't no need lying about that. I don't know a human being that loves that process. Now, there's a song that says, Out of the fire to the flames of another trial. When you feel like your heart has had all it can take and nothing is there left to break. In the heat of the fire, he'll pull you through. When you don't understand it, he's tried and true. No matter the questions, there's an answer for you. Listen, it is hard. The fiery process is hard. It's painful. It's pains taken. It hurts. But let me tell you this, baby. If you want to be a chosen vessel, not called, many are called, but few are chosen. If you want to be a chosen vessel, baby cakes, sit up in that fire and bake to your heart's content. Or let's say bake to the Lord's heart's content because we'll never be content with that. But I'm telling you, it is so necessary. Your feelings being hurt is part of it. Your being betrayed is part of it. Your being misunderstood and accused for things you didn't do is part of it. You being ostracized is part of it. You being cheated on is part of it. Either someone has taken something that was rightfully yours or someone that was rightfully yours is giving themselves to another. I am telling you the whole thing is part of the process. Now, you can jump out of the fire, baby, 
you have every right to do so. Or you can die to yourself and say, Lord, nevertheless, not my will, but thine be done. Kind of like the way Jesus did when he allowed himself to be crucified by his own creation. For the sake of our soul's salvation, amongst many, many, many other benefits. Are you willing? Are you willing to be burned for God's sake? Are you willing to be screwed over for God's sake? Are you willing to do without for God's sake? Are you willing to be alone for God's sake? Those are some major challenges, major challenges. Sometimes it's more difficult to live than it is to die. But I tell you one thing, when you do it for God's sake, he will take the sting. He will take the pain and give you peace. He will take the wounds and the scars away from you and replace it with healing and mercy. So instead of you being resentful, anger and bitter, you angry and bitter, you will be merciful and forgiving, kind, understanding and patient. Not a fool, not a doormat, but you won't be bitter and nasty anymore. Go through it, baby. It is so worth it. If you want to be the vessel of honor that God wants to use in a big way, then you've got to be willing to die to yourself in a bigger way. God help you. And God help me. <laughs>